Hi guys, welcome to our comprehensive exploration of authentication and authorization methods. Today, we are diving deep into two popular approaches that is JSON web tokens and session based authorization. We'll explore their pros, cons and how they fit into modern system design with a special focus on the crucial concepts of authentication and authorization. So let's get started. Before we dive into specific methods, let's clarify two fundamental concepts that is authentication and authorization. Authentication is the process of verifying a user who a user is. It's like checking an ID at the entrance of a club. Authorization on the other hand determines what a user is allowed to do once they are inside. It's like the VIP wristband that grants access to exclusive areas. Both JWT and session based approaches handle these processes differently. Let's explore each in detail. Let's start with the classic that is session based authentication and authorization. Here is how it works. A user logs in with their credentials. This is the authentication step. The server creates a session and stores it along with the user's authorization details. The server sends a session ID to the client usually as a cookie and it also stores the session ID with the corresponding user in the database. For subsequent requests, the client sends this session ID. The server looks up the session to authenticate the user and check their permissions. Now let's look at the pros and cons of this approach. Server has full control over sessions and permissions. Easy to invalidate sessions and revoke access as it is stored in DB. Works well with server-side rendered apps like Next.js can easily update user permissions without reusing credentials. Requires server-side storage for both authentication and authorization data. That is why it doesn't scale well in distributed systems. Potential for session hijacking if not secured properly in the database. May require multiple database lookups for complex authorization checks. Now let's look at JWT based authentication and authorization. Here is the JWT process. User logs in with credentials. Server generates a JWT with its secret key and it is then mixed with user info, permissions, signatures, etc. Server sends the JWT to the client. Client stores the JWT and sends it with each request. Server verifies the JWT signature to authenticate the user and check permissions. Let's look at the pros and cons of JWTs for authentication and authorization. Stateless, no server side storage needed for auth info that is why it scales well in distributed systems can contain user info and permissions reducing database lookups that is why it is more faster suitable for microservices architectures tokens can be easily invalidated before they expire updating permissions require issuing a new token sensitive auth data and tokens needed to be encrypted well Now that we have covered both methods, let's compare them directly in terms of authentication and authorization. For session, it requires shared storage in distributed systems for both auth and user data. For JWT, as it is stateless, it easily scales across multiple servers with auth info in the token. Sessions can be quickly invalidated 
but it's vulnerable to CSRF. On the other hand, JWTs can be signed and encrypted, but can be easily revoked without additional mechanisms. CS sessions require a database lookup for each auth check. That is why it is slower. For JWT, no database lookup is there, but the token size can be larger. Still, the JWT is faster. Sessions are easy to update their permissions in real time. For JWTs, the permissions are set at token issuance, requiring refresh for updates. Let's talk about refresh tokens and how they affect authorization in JWT systems. Refresh tokens help balance security and user experience. When a JWT is issued, a refresh token is also provided. The JWT has short lifespan and contains temporary authorization info. With the JWT expires, the client uses the refresh token to get a new JWT. During this refresh, the server can update the user's permissions in the new JWT. Allows for shorter JWT lifespans. Enhancing security. Provides a way to update user permissions without requiring re-login. Improves user experience while maintaining tight control over authorization. Adds complexity to the authentication and authorization flow. Requires secure storage on the client side. Need to handle refresh token rotation for enhanced security. The choice between this depends on your specific needs for performance, flexibility, and complexity. So which should you choose for your authentication and authorization needs? As always, it depends on your specific requirements. Consider sessions if you need real-time control over user permissions. You are building a monolithic application. Server-side rendering. Consider JWTs if you are building a distributed system or microservices. You need stateless authentication and authorization. You are developing single-page applications or mobile apps with complex client-side logic. Remember, hybrid approaches exist. You might use JWTs for authentication and a separate authorization service for complex permission checks. And thanks for joining us on this deep dive into authentication and authorization, comparing JWT and session-based approaches. We hope this helps you make informed decisions in your system design.